Hey, what's going on YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to Rules for Rebels, guys. Uh, I got an Amazon policy violation email today, and anytime you get an email from Amazon Merch about policy violations, it can be very nerve-wracking. You know, well, I don't rely solely on Amazon Merch for my income. It, it's grown to be a, a pretty decent amount of money, and I'd hate to see it go away. And we know how finicky third-party sites, and especially Amazon, can be. Um, after digging into it a little bit more, I, I think it might be kind of a glitch or an automated email that's being sent out. But I was kind of curious to hear from you guys. Did anybody else get this email as well? So I'm going to kind of lay out kind of what happened. So um, if we kind of go back to June, uh, here are two relatively recent Amazon policy announcements. So in June, they said in 30 days, we will update our co content policy for guideline 5.1, quality, shipping, and fulfillment. The changes will include references about the quality of the product or print, description of the t-shirt, sizing, speed of shipping or fulfillment, return policy, the manufacturing, country of origin. For example, we will not accept terms such as high quality, easy returns, 100% risk-free, satisfaction guaranteed, printed to be fitted, etc. So basically, you know, they don't want you, they just want you describing your design. They don't want you describing the t-shirt. They don't want you mentioning that it ships via Amazon Prime none of that stuff so they gave us 30 days to go ahead and kind of remove those shirts now i've never really been a person who you know back in the day when there were anvil t-shirts and even port and company t-shirts a lot of people would do things like you know shirts run small order a size up and there were people who were saying you know ships via prime two days and all this other stuff and i was you know back when they announced this i was like man it sucks for those people who have like 2,000 t-shirts live and every single t-shirt they put in their bullet points um, order a size up like that's gonna be a lot of work for them to go back and, and edit this I've never been somebody who did that um, maybe here or there on accident not thinking I may have accidentally typed something in but for the most part I've never really done things like that so then I noticed today 7-11 July 11th on a dashboard it says to provide clarification on our content policy we have updated guideline 5.1 quality shipping and fulfillment please review the updated content policy here please note that you have 30 days to review and update your existing listing so they gave us 30 days here and it seems like they're extending that well today i got this email and i probably i wouldn't be surprised if you guys got this as well because i'm actually somebody who's very innocent in terms of this policy um and i got it so i'm guessing if i got it some other people did as well and the email says dear content creator we are contacting you because one or more of your designs appears to violate our content policy 5.1. Specifically, your bullet points and or description may contain references to our product quality, fit, size, fulfillment, or shipping. Please remove these references from your product descriptions. Your design will be removed if no changes are made after 30 days. Quite honestly, I could really care less if they remove my design. You know, one design down or a couple designs down, not a big deal. I'm worried about getting strikes on my account. I want to keep my account in good health. And it was kind of funny when I when I got the email, the email header was like content policy violation. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I do? Uh, below are some examples that will be considered but not limited to as violations of our content policy. So things like send it back for a full refund, limited quantities available, ships in two days, printed to be fitted, guaranteed to print, uh, guaranteed to fit printed in the usa available in big and tall sizes and free shipping so i went to my amazon merch account and i clicked the manage tab and there's a search box where you can search for terms so if you type in the word soccer any shirts that you have with soccer will pull up um so i kind of went through and i typed in things like usa available the word shipping the word free basically i'm wanting to see if any of my um t-shirts have any of these words in them either outright viol violating the policy uh, or even like innocently. So I'll give you an example, a couple things that, that came up. So uh, you're not allowed to say printed in, in USA, manufactured in USA or made in USA. I had one shirt I did for the 4th of July and I think it was something like patriotic American shirt, like go USA, you know, it was just something cheesy like that. I wasn't referencing the USA in terms of where the shirt was manufactured. It was a patriotic shirt. It was American shirt. So it made sense to put USA in the titles, tags, and bullet points. Now, I know Amazon works off, you know, algorithms, right? They have kind of algorithms or tools or AI that's going to automatically detect these types of words. So even though I use the word USA completely innocently, I can see how their system picked something like that up. I have another shirt where it was kind of like a new age kind of spiritual type shirt. And I believe in either the title or the bullet points, I said, this is a great shirt for free thinkers. Um, well, potentially the word free flags their free shipping thing. And that's why, you know, I, I was sent this email. So 
Uh, initially, I was kind of freaked out. Amazon uh, actually provides an email address where you guys can contact them. Uh, let me scroll down. It is uh, merch-sellers-contactus at amazon.com. Uh, so I sent them an email. And if you ever run into problems um, with your account, with Amazon or really anything else, I think what's important, um, respond back. You know, I know a lot of people don't respond to stuff like this and just try to you know, forget about the problem and make sure it goes away or remove a shirt. I, I think by responding to people promptly, you show that you're an engaged Amazon merch seller. Um, you're paying attention to it. You're responsive. You want to do things the right way. So I said, you know what? I'm going to respond back to these guys. So I sent him an email. I said, hello, I received this email message today and I forwarded. So, you know, the context is below. I've always been careful not to say anything about sizing, shipping times, where items are made, etc. I have gone through searching my account and cannot find anything which violates policy. The only thing I can assume is I have some American flag shirts that have USA in the bullet points, but it's describing the shirt, not saying where the item is actually made or manufactured. I also have a shirt that has in the bullet points, it's for free thinkers. The only thing I can figure is some innocent keyword is triggering, tri triggering some filter you guys have. I am happy to edit any, any shirts or remove anything, but I cannot find any violations. So again, I've responded to him quickly. I showed that I'm um, an engaged Amazon merch seller. I told them I'm more than willing to make any changes necessary to be within the policy. And I was actually kind of impressed with this, guys. You know, I, I know I give Amazon a lot of shit. Um, and, and I think uh, understandably so, a lot of you guys have probably experienced frustrations when you contact Amazon and get these kind of vague form letters back. Uh, but I got this email back lit less than an hour and a half later, and it says, Hello, John, this is blank from Merch by Amazon Support. Thank you for contacting us. I have messaged the appropriate team for further in investigation into your designs. I will reply to this case as soon as we have more information on the issue to provide a status update. Thank you for your patience in this matter. Best regards, block blank, uh, Merch by Amazon Support. Uh, so anyhow, guys, I was just kind of curious if uh, if any of you guys received this email as well today. Uh, let me know what your plans are. You know, have you checked your designs? Do you have anything that outright violates these policies? Or maybe you're like me, and maybe you just have some keyword that um, is being used innocently, but is maybe kind of triggering some automated system. Uh, let me know if any of you guys got this email. Drop a comment below. Tell me about it. And let me know how you guys kind of plan to resolve this. Um, and also, I'd be curious to hear from any of you guys who we're putting in all your designs order a size up like have you made it through going through and editing all your designs how big of a headache that was tell us all about it if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you are not subscribed smash that sub uh, subscribe button below and i will catch you guys on the next video guys later